Oh, can you hear that rain, Barney? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm filming this pretty last minute, literally the day before I'm uploading this video. It's rain. I kind of like it. But anyway, um, maybe not today was probably not the best day to come and do this with this rain. But anyway, didn't have a video for... Wednesday which is the day you're watching this and I thought what shall I do for my video I asked on Instagram asked for some opinions and a few people mentioned Cheshire Oaks and I thought you know what I could get out and go to Cheshire Oaks today I've got the dog so we're going to do some dog friendly shopping who says life stops when you get a dog well no one I don't think that's what saying at all my point being is don't let a dog stop you from going shopping because there are dog friendly shops out there and this little trip that i'm doing today i've started by coming to neptune in chester i've never been to this neptune before love neptune anyway neptune home if you don't know it's like a really nice home store um a bit lux a bit lux i'm not gonna lie but the nutsford one is the one that i usually go to and they're all dog friendly so i'm gonna pop into this one in chester and yeah never been here before have a look around then i'm gonna head to inspirations wholesalers again they're dog friendly they've got a little cafe in there that's dog friendly as well and you may remember inspiration wholesalers from a vlog i think i've vlogged in there a couple of times actually it's like a wholesalers that anyone can go to you don't have to be a business owner or anything like that you just sign up by giving your i think it's your email and your postcode um super easy you don't have to pay for it it's free but they've got this week and this week only that's why i thought i'd get this video up soon so you guys if you're in the area can head over because they're doing a vat free promotion this week so essentially it just means all of their prices ordinarily because they're wholesalers the price is like price plus vat the 20 percent is cut off this this week so hopefully we'll be able to it's basically 20 percent off store wide is essentially what the offer would be um so i'm gonna have a look they've got i've seen on instagram they've got all of their autumn bits out as well i don't know if it's all of them or just a taster but i'm pretty sure it'll probably be all of them because they do christmas really early the best christmas displays ever honestly they have so much um so yeah so i'm gonna go there second and then we're gonna go to cheshire oaks and pretty much every single store and restaurant at Cheshire Oaks is dog friendly as well if you don't know like any of the MacArthur Glen designer outlets they all have all the windows have like a little paw print at the bottom of it if they're dog friendly and to be honest with you I don't know if I've ever come across one that doesn't have a paw on it I think Nike didn't have a paw on it last time I went I noticed but we went in anyway and we didn't get told to leave because we had a dog so they're basically fully dog friendly which i think is just so nice it's such a nice day to be able to take your dog i've not even walked in this morning so this is going to be our bit of a morning walk slash it'll probably take us to lunchtime, and then i'll take him out for a, a decent walk later on this afternoon but yeah this is our morning slash next few hours i'm going to bring you along with me starting with neptune the first thing I would note about this store, having now been in it, it is much bigger than the Nutsford store, which is like my local Neptune. So if you're um, in the area, then definitely uh, go to this Neptune because it is quite a lot bigger. There's quite a lot more to see. I always go in for inspiration mainly and just have a look at how they've styled rooms, even as far as going inside the cupboards, because they literally will show you, especially in the kitchen, how they style up uh, the pantry and do the organization. This kind of wine cellar area was major inspo for maybe down in our basement in the future. But yeah, I always like to have a nosy in the cupboards, even to the point of seeing what kind of like food they buy, maybe that I could find at farm shops or something, what kind of glass containers they have, cooking books on display. I actually have that pulpo one already on our kitchen shelf. This cabinetry as well, absolutely love with the ladder and just manifesting it one day into my future. I really, really love it. Yeah. Fall in love. Yeah. I'm just, or maybe he's just had a lot of bad experience. I'm just listening to um, the girls' bathroom. I love their podcast, Fear and Chintia's podcast. And they've got on two guests from that other podcast. What's it called? Ships and Gigs or something? I don't listen to their podcast, but I do like get all of their like clips from TikTok pop up on my TikTok. So. 
I know who they are and they're so funny and it's just it's a really good listen so anyway I've just been listening to that just pulled up at Inspirations Wholesale this is what it looks like so it's like a big wholesale centre with a little leaf and vine coffee shop in there Barney was a good boy in Neptune weren't you you're gonna be a good boy in here I do think it was a mistake not walking him this morning because he's a little bit manic. When he's in the shops, usually he's fairly chilled, but he's pulling around to have a good sniff and explore, which is fine, it's to be expected, but hopefully he'll chill out in here. Um, so anyway, I'll just show you the couple of bits that I did get from Neptune. I got these, I thought these were really affordable. So I don't know if these are in the sale or this is the normal price. I have to have a look online, but the Ashcroft Round Napkin Rings, Silver Reed, set of six. I'd have preferred it to be eight because I've got like pretty much sets of everything for eight people but never mind ten pounds they were and then I also got the matching from the same range the little pot and again this was ten pounds as well so I thought this like in the middle of a table with like spare cutlery or I don't know because it's not like a big enough for like a utensils cutlery holder maybe like a cutlery holder not utensils pop though um or actually yeah how am i gonna use this where am i gonna put it maybe just display i don't know let me know any suggestions of where i could use this but i was just thinking when i got those napkin rings that that would be nice on the tablescape for something that might be handy like i say spare cutlery or if you're doing a brunch or something a little pot of spoons for all your different jams and condiments romanticizing my life here and then i also got again for the kitchen she's wrapped up for me and also how nice are the neptune bags they're still on the rhubarb color which i have to admit is probably the least favorite color that i've got of all my neptune bags i like the green ones that i've got and the charcoal but pink it's not really my thing but anyway i got a butter dish so this is from the lewis range it was in the sale so i really like the bowsley bowsley range from neptune but i thought i would get this one because it was in the sale it's reduced down to 11 pounds so i thought that was pretty good price i've got one currently and i just don't love it it's from primark home and it's like it's almost pinky and so anyway i'm just as soon as i saw this i thought yeah i'm gonna get that simple 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 oh my god this rain is coming down I'm doing mad dash into the shop so that's my little Neptune haul. Now time to head into Inspirations. And then Cheshire Oats is open now as well because I set off nice and early. And I think because I don't think Cheshire Oats opens till 10. It's now quarter past 10. So I know that they're open already. So as soon as we're done in here, we'll head over there. Well, this is a surprise. They've got a whole new pet section, which I don't believe was here last time. Does Barney want a toy? <laughs> He's having a good sniff. Here we go, autumn is coming. These guys are the bowls that I've got on our kitchen island. I've got a set of two, so I've got this one, it's 20 pounds. And then I can't remember how much the smaller one is, but um, yeah, I just have them stacked up on our dining table. How cute is this as well for autumn? Little ghost cushion. He thinks it's a toy for him, it's not. <laughs> how much is this guy? This guy wow. is 9.99. And then I actually have these from last year. They do, I think it's three different sizes. This one's 4 99 I think this one's the medium or the small, but they definitely do. I can't see them out, but they definitely do. Oh no, there's a couple up there. They do huge ones as well. Yeah, and then this one's the medium one. This one is 7 99 And then they have the kind of neutral pumpkin section. I love these. I think these are lovely. They are £2.49. You could get like a bunch of those or three, maybe put them in the bowl or on this cake stand, how these ones have been put. And then this one at 8 99 like a fuzzy kind of cozy pumpkin with the jute um, little stalk. And then they have the big garlands, the wreaths, and they've also got these little picks. The picks are £6.49. How adorable is this pumpkin cushion, 12 99 Oh, I am tempted for this one. 
Is it removable cover? No, it just is what it is. But yeah, I love the colors of that. Just nice and neutral with a bit of rust. Oh, I'm tempted. I love their ginger jars and storage pots. I actually have this one at home already, $19.99. And then I also like these kind of shaped ginger jars that they've got. They've got some bigger ones. I've got a huge one from here, but that little mini one would look quite cute with it. Look at what's come in. Wow. They are already starting to put their Christmas things out. <laughs> I told you they are early. I'll just show you briefly a couple of bits, but I think we'll have to come back and do another another trip when um when all the bits are out for christmas to go shopping bed yeah you can already hear dogs barking it's a very dog friendly place um there's always loads in fact last time i came there was actually a dog bakery so we'll see if that's still here to get get him a treat this rain is not ideal so here we go first stop for me was Burberry. I had a quick look at trenches, which were kind of relevant considering it was on and off raining all day. They had pretty good discounts around the kind of two, three, four hundred pounds off. I quite liked that kind of reversible cape as well. I also loved some of their bags that they had in this black one, as well as the tan one I kind of tried on in the mirror so you could see what size it was on me. Look at Barney being such a good boy, waiting patiently in the background. He's honestly the best to shop with. He's so good. Anyway, I also, obligatory stop, had to shop in uh, Lululemon, which they gave me 20% off just for bringing Barney in. I thought they had 20% off anyway, and I asked them and they said, no, not today, but because you brought such a cute dog, we'll give it to you anyway. So that was a bonus. I also had a quick look in Reese. They had quite big savings on up to 60% off. Loved that kind of linen shirt and matching short combo. Beautiful quality. And then some other little kind of like crochet dresses, blazers. They've always got really good blazers in this Reese. And then I also saw this co-ord, which I've seen one similar in Zara. This one was lovely quality though. Also had a quick look in Birkenstock. I was like to see if they've got any kind of like Boston's, Arizona color, which I love. These slippers, quite like them. I also had a look in Yankee Candle and had a good sniff of all the different scents, warm cashmere, which was this one was my favorite, but I was hoping for some maybe like end of summer, early autumn scents, but they didn't have any of those in. Always have a quick look at UGG. You never know what kind of savings might be had. I really was tempted for this dressing gown, but I've already got one, two, if not three, too many. So yeah, left on this occasion. Had a little pit stop in Hotel Chocolat, then Rituals. I love the reed diffusers and candles that Rituals do. It's just some really strongly scented products. Love them. Always have a look in the Cruze. They had a couple of finds these mugs at seven pounds i thought were great and imagine this at christmas harry potter le cruise yes please also gave barney a little pit stop at the original dog bakery he was very confused by that dog that was in denby and they've got this gorgeous uh, mural there as well by an artist which i just think is so talented he's being a good boy aren't you barney we just stopped a little pit stop and um, just to grab a bite to eat at Leon, which I've never been to before. But they've said it's about a five minute wait, so we'll just sit in the sunshine. Now that the sun's out, this one's getting lots of attention, aren't you, bud? Well, that took literally two minutes, not five. Um, I just got a 
little set of arancini, although I'm not going to lie, this is smaller than I thought it was going to be, so I might grab something else before we go as well. And then I also got this little pot of chicken meze as well, so a couple of sides for like a light lunch. Whilst I'm having my lunch, I did also get Barney his very own treat from the dog bakery. The original dog bakery.co.uk so i'll give him this now to munch on and i got him a summer i think i think it was called like a summer berry muffin you've been a good boy there you go he's like well that's big <laughs> savor it enjoy it i always like to have a look at their ralph lauren shop it's huge i think it's like a flagship outlet store it's really really big they've got some amazing sales and discounts across not just like fashion um, like clothing wise but also their shoes like some really on trend like nothing too garish they have like the neutral tones too same with the bags they've got some lovely straw bags for summer holidays they had a whole section which was kind of like khaki and cream and tan and i just thought Oh my gosh, I was in my element. Saw this linen dress as well, which they also had in the dark khaki. Thought it was amazing value from 279 down to 90 pounds. Was incredibly tempted for it. I love the kind of knot design, but I did leave it on this occasion. How stunning is this olive branch collection from Le Creuset? I honestly wanted it all, but it's kind of pricey. Le Creuset is expensive, I'm not gonna lie. And they also had some pumpkin bits as well. They've got these little kind of, um, like little dishes mini pumpkin dishes which i've got a couple of those already and then they also had the bigger kind of casserole dishes in the pumpkin shape but again i think 150 pounds it's just a lot for a seasonal item nevertheless we can romanticize and <laughs> look forward to manifesting that in the future i love having a quick look at joe malone in the cosmetics company outlet is that what it's called and they also had like Too faced mac la mer which I was surprised to see. But yeah, always have a good look in there and a good rummage for some great discounts. And we're done. Heading back to the car now. I was like this little parking spot because it's kind of like a, I think it's a bit of a cheat parking spot. People don't know it's this area's here. It's if you're going to a premium car park, but before you go up the ramp, go left. Come on. Apparently this is where a lot of the staff park. But yeah, no one seems to, I mean, there are cars around here, but there always seems to be a space. You've been a good boy. All done. I feel like I did, oops. It was actually quite nice by the time we sat outside in the sun for a bite to eat. Although that chicken thing, it was, well, for me, so spicy. So I left it. So I've literally just had three little arancini balls and it's 1 p.m. That's all we've had today. So I feel like possibly a Starbucks drive through Is there a Starbucks around here? I think there is. I think it's across the other side. There's like another retail park here. Sometimes I go to, yeah, I'm sure there's a Starbucks there. But we could grab that for the road. That's not the right one. And then, yeah, get back and show you the bits that I got. I got a couple of things. Nothing, not like loads of stuff. Barney was a good boy. He got so much attention. <laughs> and it was a bit chaotic shopping with the dog I'm not gonna lie it's just it's all right when I'm with Tom because we can kind of take it in turns holding him so if you want to go and have a quick browse in the store you can without constantly being pulled or people coming and saying hello to him and it is cute though but um there was one shop that I was going to go into but didn't that was M&S they didn't have like a dog friendly sign on the M&S outlet I'm pretty sure I've been in there with him before. So it probably is dog friendly, but it's the only one that I bypassed that I was gonna go in, but never mind. Um, and yeah, apart from that, went to Lululemon, went to Rituals, went to Hotel Chocolat, went to, I bypassed Jack Wills, usually I have a quick browse in there, and All Saints I had a quick look around, but they did have an extra 20% off for two items that you buy, an extra 30% off for three items that you buy. I feel like, oh, La Cruze was another place that I went in to have a look. They've got two stores here now. I went into the first one and it was tiny, and I thought, oh, what a shame they've closed down their main store. By the time I got round, like at the very end, just over here, the big store was still there, so I don't know what's happened there as to whether or not they've, I don't know why they've done that, but anyway, 
had a quick look in there. I also, can you hear the rain is coming? Can you see it on the roof? That was my little Cheshire Oaks trip and I will see you guys when we get back home. We are back. <laughs> Why is that? Who are you talking to? So, I thought I would just show you the couple of bits that I did pick up whilst there. Because otherwise that would be heading on a bit of a cliffhanger. And also maybe show you my outfit. Because I don't think I've shown you yet. I'll show you in this mirror over here. Casual comfy. And I've just got this waistcoat on which is... It's from Zara, but like ages ago. And I recently just had a bit of a sort through of my wardrobe and reorganized things. Discovered it, still had the label in. Let me just take the phone out. And yeah, I know that I've had it for a long time. So I've just never worn it. And yeah, I, I don't know, I got it out today and I'm really enjoying it. And I actually got a compliment on it as well. The lovely lady in Neptune said, I love your waistcoat. So yeah, it's like a kind of fuzzy felty fabric and then i've just got this basic vest on underneath which is from i got this i got this from a brand on revolve i think but it's just a basic basic white vest my lululemon align leggings and some vasia trainers i could do with giving these a bit of a scrub to be honest but yeah that's been my outfit i've been um i have my ysl small lulu bag on as well from pro Cook. A request from Tom. He was after the other day a skillet, like a cast iron skillet that can go in the oven outside. And um, I saw this frying pan one, which he said, sent him a quick photo in store and he said, yeah, get it. So I think that one was 30, is it 36? 39 pounds. But yeah, cast iron, 26 centimeters matte black. So yeah, we've got one of those now for steaks or whatever. Just something to, have. We've got cast iron. I need to sneeze. <coughs> cast iron, like griddle pan, but we needed a flat one. So, yeah, I've got that. And then the other shop that I went into, Lululemon. Oh, hang on a second. Where did I get these from? Denby. I got these ones from Denby. Just some corn on the cob, hot, uh, what they're called, holders. Now, whenever I see these, they're usually like a bright yellow plastic and they're just a bit naff looking. But there are still these little wooden handled ones and I thought they are perfect. So I got enough for six people, two per corn on the cob, and they were £3.49 each. Hotel Chocolat, we might have one of these this afternoon. They've got an offer on, I think in stores, it's usually three of these mix and match sets for 12 pounds usually three for 12 pounds but in the outlet it's four for 14 pounds so i got this this one mostly for tom because he'll probably just enjoy a milk slab i love the raspberry panna cotta ones like white chocolate these ones are nice as well dizzy praline they didn't have my favorite walnut praline ones but we'll let that slide and then this one i probably will be all for me. These ones are probably all for me. I can't imagine Tom would want a uh, coffee chocolate. But I love coffee flavoured things. Coffee cake as well. Coffee and walnut cake is one of my favourites. I feel like that's a real hit and miss flavour that a lot of people would be like, oh no. Mm. Or I feel like if you've got a box of chocolates, the coffee flavoured one is one that's usually left to the end. It's like a real nice praline texture on the inside. Is, what's the other one? Revels. You know they've got a coffee flavoured one, the orange in the coffee. Coffee one is my favourite Revel. So last but not least, from Lululemon, get my receipt out as well so I can tell you the prices. I got a couple of my favourite pairs of leggings, the Align leggings, and I got a couple of different ones. This one is the, they're both in a size 8 which is like the US sizes is typically a 12, UK 12. But, so usually I would wear a six in Lululemon, but um, they didn't have these in a six. And to be honest with you, like the ones that I'm wearing now are a six and they are comfy and like really comfy actually. But I tried the ribbed ones on last time I went in. They only, they didn't have, they had like a smaller size and it felt a bit, 
feels like the ribbed ones come up a little bit smaller. So anyway, the fact that it was in an eight, I thought, oh, that's fine. I'll just grab that. 69 pounds down from 108. The regular black ones that I wear are 88 normally in stores. So yeah, the ribbed ones are more expensive. I love that chocolate brown color for autumn. Um, so that was 108. The Align ribbed in 25 length. Down to 69. This doesn't make sense. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they took off an extra 20% off, so an extra 16 pounds and 80 off that price. Then I also got this color in, this one's not ribbed, this one's just a plain, um, the regular kind of aligned leggings ones that I already own. Again, in the 25 inch leg, they do like a longer one at 28 or shorter at 21 or a cropped 23, shorter. 21 i think anyway i just thought this was like a nice neutral color again to wear like in autumn with a nice cream jumper just lounging around the house it's like my typical outfit that i wear but obviously these are good for like the working out in it as well but yeah again in a size eight this one so size up from my usual but they fit fine 59 pounds this one was reduced to but with the 20 percent off it took it down to 47 pounds and 20 pence the reason why i'm like looking at this receipt is because this one has actually 69 pounds has actually ringed up on the till as 84 pounds with 20 percent off it takes it down to 67 pounds 20 so that's annoying i mean it's still this price well 67 pounds but i thought i would have got an extra 20 percent off that that is annoying and then the black tea all yours tea it's called all yours this is in a 10 so that's like a typical uk 14 um, but it's just like a basic black tea so that's fine oh interesting it says 48 pounds rrp final sale 34 but actually 24 so that one has come up at 24 pounds but with the 20 percent off it's taken it down to 19 pounds 20 and it's honestly just like a really nice basic black tea it's kind of like i suppose you could wear it to work out in but it's just a basic black tea it's got a seam along the back but other than that it's just plain and simple and super soft so again this one for me is just not necessarily to work out in but just to just to wear comfy and casual really but that is everything that i picked up i hope you enjoyed coming with me on a little shopping trip to cheshire oaks and inspiration wholesalers don't forget they've got that vat free on at the minute i actually didn't pick anything up from inspiration to wholesalers i was tempted for some of the autumn bits but i was like i don't I don't love anything and I'm really buying stuff that I really love because I've got a lot downstairs that I need to have a good sort through. I don't go overboard with autumn decor. I like less is more. Just the odd pumpkin touch here and there or I say I don't go overboard. I probably go overboard compared to a lot of people. <laughs> but that's the inner child in me that used to live in America because they do go all out and I really envy americans out there at that time of the year during autumn to be able to go shopping to target home barn pottery barn where else was there that we used to go to oh, just loads ross tj max because of course it's not tk max over there and what do they call home sense they call it it's home goods is it is it home goods slowly but surely i feel like the uk is going that way but anyway they had some gorgeous things of which the white pumpkins already have i was tempted for the little felt ones but Again, had they have been in like a neutral color, I probably would have gone for them rather than the bluey kind of green. But anyway, that is everything that I picked up. Thank you for coming shopping with us. I feel like I've been shopping with my friends, even though it's literally just been me and Barney and my camera. But yeah, if you want me to do more shopping a days out like that with me and Barney, then just let me know. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and do give this video a thumbs up if you want more of them. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.